DSI Sportsbook has released their updated post-draft win totals for the NFL, and odds makers say that the Miami Dolphins are at just seven games. Miami spent much of the offseason trading away and cutting its star players. They did not rest through free agency in the draft, but the Dolphins didn't exactly set the NFL on fire with their moves. If you go by the last 10 years of Dolphins football, the under is a solid bet here. Miami has won seven or less games in six out of the last 10 seasons, and that includes their 6-10 and 10 finish last year. The wild card is quarterback Ryan Tannehill. A healthy Tannehill teamed up with head coach Adam Gase resulted in a 10-6 finish. Tannehill is coming back from knee surgery, but by the time preseason begins, he'll be more than a year out of recovery. As long as he doesn't get hurt again, and there's no reason to think that he will, he should be ready to go for a full 16 games. The problem for Tannehill and the offense is Jarvis Landry is no longer on the team. Landry led the NFL in catches last season with 112. He added 987 yards and nine touchdowns with Jay Cutler and Matt Moore at quarterback. He was Tannehill's favorite target as well, catching 84, 110, and 94 passes in each of their three seasons together. Landry's absence leaves a gaping hole in Tannehill's potential production. Miami had three legit offensive weapons at the start of last year. Tannehill, Landry, and running back Jay Ajahi, and Gase has traded away two of the three. In the backfield, the Dolphins added the desiccated remains of Frank Gore. They have Kenyon Drake behind him, then rookie Kalen Bellage. Miami brought in Danny Amendola from the New England Patriots to take Landry's spot in the slot. The only rookie that should really be a factor is tight end Mike Gesicki. Gesicki may be getting more of Landry's touches than Amendola, especially in the red zone. Lastly, we need to look at Miami's schedule. They face the Buffalo Bills and New York Jets twice each, so barring an upset, that's four wins. They could also beat the Cincinnati Bengals, Chicago Bears, and Detroit Lions, so there is your seven wins. Is there any chance that they can pick up a win against the Patriots? They usually do in Miami. Bill Belichick and Tom Brady are historic losers when they play at the Dolphins. That'd be eight wins, but you'd have to bank on Miami not dropping a single game that it should win. The NFL is played by grown men who make millions of dollars to participate in a very dangerous game. Anything can happen, and with Tannehill and Gase together, we're pretty comfortable betting the over. The AFC wildcard teams were absolute garbage last season, so there's no reason to think that the Dolphins can't rise to the occasion with eight or nine wins to contend for a playoff spot in 2018. For more information and statistics on this event and every other sporting event this week, check out bangthebook.com. Bang the Book is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sportsbooks.